record. Okay, I have started the recording. Now let me share it. Thank you, Professor. So, uh, mode 300. Okay, so I have uh, made these three uh, simulation files. FBG 300 Kelvin, 325 Kelvin, and 350 Kelvin. Okay, so let me show you first. Yes. Uh, and before that, let me show you this one, uh, this paper. Yeah, temperature dependent refractive index of silicon and germanium. Okay, so this helps yes. in doing that simulation. So here, this graph is given, or uh, these values are given. Okay, D and by DT. See here, the thermo optic coefficient of silicon. So here the uh, wavelength, the operating wavelength is given in the column wise 1.1, 1.2 up to 5.5 micron. And in uh, along the rows and along the column, and these are the temperature 30 Kelvin, 40 Kelvin, 50, uh, up to 295 Kelvin. Okay. And these values, uh, the temperature coefficients are given in this form. Okay. So if I am operating uh, fire break rating at 1.5 micrometer, which is the conventional uh, optical uh, band. Are you getting it? Hello? Yes, Professor. Okay. So 1.5 micron, uh, around this 1.5 to 1.6 micron, uh, we are operating fiber bread rating for communication purpose. So uh, within this, you can see this range of uh, thermo-optic thermo coefficient, how it is varying. So from this, we can use uh, around 300 Kelvin, this value 1.8, into 10 raised to minus 4. Okay, so this is the thermo optic yes. coefficient. So this I will use later on. Okay, similarly, I have paper uh, which shows the thermo optic coefficient uh, of uh, different materials. Okay, yes, yeah. So let me go there um, to you can find out thermo optic coefficient of different material. Okay, so here. Is the core? Uh, this let, uh, shall I show you every uh, geometry and how I have edited these things? Yes. Okay. So this is the model. Okay. Just you, if you do new, new, and then default model, just do this and first go to the structure and get this core first. Okay. Yes. The core is nothing but the ring. Here you have to decide inner radius and outer radius. So inner radius is zero, outer radius is 4.15 micrometer. And X I'm taking at zero and Z is zero to 100. Okay. Means 100 yes. micrometer is the core. The name is the core. And material I am giving material index 1.45. Okay. Yeah, which so is glass. The, yeah, this is glass 1.45. Okay, and in rotation, I am rotating 90 degrees so that I can see in, in uh, like this one. Let, let me show this. So this, this is so you can see this way, X directs, X to Y direction is its axis. Okay, along X is its axis. That's why I have rotated. If I will not rotate, its axis will be along Z axis. Okay, so similarly, yes. there is cladding. Here I have decided, Inner radius is 4.15, where the core is stopped, and outer radius is 62.5. You can reduce this value also. Doesn't matter because we are not going to simulate. Simulation region is uh, very less within the cladding region. Okay, not up, up to 62.5. Okay, otherwise, if you take simulation region up to 62.5, it will be too much uh, time taking. Okay, so let yes. it be 62.5, but while I will be simulating, simulation region will be very small. Okay, so yes. here uh, I have added variational FDTD. Okay, before that, uh, let me move all these things into one group. Let me group all these things. Okay, I cannot group now. Uh, okay. Yeah, so variational ring. So what is this ring? This ring 
uh, is nothing but the perturbation which I will generate here periodic perturbation. Okay, so yes, this this starts from x is equal to minus forty four and in, within z it goes from two to uh, so one point eight six five to two point one three five. Means its dimension is how much two seventy nanometer or 0 0.27 micrometer is the half of the period this distance is the half of the period of grating okay so grating period will be just double of this okay so this structure i will repeat at the periodicity of double of this value okay so yes. here inner radius is zero outer radius is 4.15 such that uh, this uh, ring will be within the core region okay and then material here i am taken 1.445, which is the core exactly. Oh, no, this is just between, in between. Okay, 1.44 and 1.45 is the cladding and core index. And this index I am taking just for example in between these two values. Okay. Now I will be repeating yes. this structure. Okay. So select this structure here. It is not showing. If I make a copy of this, let me make the copy of this. Okay. Uh, we need to make this copy. Okay, it got closed. Wait, 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 wait. Something got wrong. So let me stop for a while. It will take just two minutes. Okay. Just wait. Uh, I'll start again. Okay. Just after two minutes. Okay, fine, Professor. Let me stop this recording also. Resume this recording. Okay. So here I have added, uh, one second, uh, open, I have to open another one, temperature. So this is your folder, a busy simulation, Macintosh, Paul, temperature effect. Yes. So 300 Kelvin, okay? Yes. So 300 Kelvin, uh, uh, I have simulated this, okay? So for simulation, I have put this variable FDTD region. See, the region of this variable FDTD is uh, 1,000 1, femtosecond. You can increase this value up to 5,000. And this mass accuracy is two. You can increase this up to five, okay, to get a better result. And yes. uh, effective index, all this is okay. Okay, so geometry, you can see up to 94. This is the X dimension, the total length of, the, around the total length of the, region and the span is 30 micrometer 30 micrometer i'm taking because the core radius is 4 micrometer and there will be some even even tell of the mode profile so uh, approximately up to 30 micrometer i'm taking in the x and y direction okay so this is see there is some extra space for simulation region but not throughout this the trading region okay now, yes. the source, source is the mode source. You can see the mode source and x axis forward direction is its injection. The geometry is just like minus 45. I'm keep, keeping this. And the y spam is 50. Okay. So yes. uh, there are two monitors. One is reflection monitor. This is just behind the source. And there is yes. transmission, transmission monitor. This is just. Uh, in front of this here okay because this is big structure so it's taking a little slower time okay yeah this one so after running this saving and running this the results are stored in t and r so let me show this result this is the transmitted value okay so let me see this is at around uh, 1.5482 is the break wavelength okay it's reflecting now what I have done, I have saved this folder as this. Uh, let me open another one, which I have saved as 325 Kelvin, okay? So what I did here, I have saved the same folder as a FBG 325 Kelvin first, and then I have edited core and cladding radius, a core and cladding material. So in material of this core, see 1.45 is its earlier value, Plus 25 degrees is the temperature multiplied by its temperature coefficient, thermo optic coefficient. Yes. Okay, 2 into 10 minus 4, let it be. Okay. And later yes. on, 
the, for cladding, cladding also I have taken this material and 1.44 into 25 into 1 is minus 5. This is the thermo optic coefficient multiplied by temperature and plus temperature. the original temperature. Okay. Plus so, the plus the reflective index. Yes, yes, plus the reflective index. Okay, this is the absolute reflective index, and this is the effect of temperature. Okay, the fractional change yes. in the fractional change in the uh, if reflective index due to the temperature. Okay, yes. but this is in the case when you will uh, heat up the material uniformly. Okay, if there is no uniform heating. Then uh, you have to pro, uh, check the profile, heat profile. But here I am just uh, assuming that the, uh, the whole fiber break dating is heated uniformly 25 degrees centigrade. Okay. Yes. So after doing that, I'm doing simulation here and just I'm recording this R value. Let me plot this R value with the first one. Okay. Add to visualizer one. So here you can see there is change, shift. Yes. You see, uh, there will be, uh, this is around 15, 50, 15, 52 nanometer, and this is 15, 55 nanometer. So around three nanometer shift is recorded, okay, due to 25 degree change in temperature. So let me show another one, third one, so five, open, 350. Okay, so here what I have done, only I have edited this value material of the core 1.45 plus 50 into its temperature coefficient okay yes. and again in cladding because cladding is little lower value it's a repetitive index that coefficient is little lower value not the same 1.44 into 50 into 1 is 5 okay so here after yes. simulation uh, i'm going to plot this r reflected value in the same visualizer add to visualizer 1 and t value uh, oh, it's not showing. Oh, yeah. Here. So here yes. you can see the three plots, uh, uh, approximately three nanometer shift is there. And uh, because I have simulated this for the showing purpose, uh, you can uh, enhance its quality, even better, even better quality you will get better reflectivity, better slope of this edge slope. For that, you need to do three, four things. First thing, this number of ring you have to increase. So let me save this, save as uh, new. Okay. And let me go to layout mode. What the changes you will do? I will share this with you. Uh, this number of rings you need to increase. So here, I have taken only 170 columns, 170 rows. Okay, so total distance you yes. can find, total distance will be approximately, let me uh, calculate it. So 200, uh, oh, sorry. Oh, there is delete. Okay. So my core is uh, 0 0.53. Is repeated 170 times. So 0.53 multiplied by 170. So it is only 70 micrometer. Okay. But actual actual fiber break rating will be around half millimeter. Okay. So you can find yes. how much uh, you need exactly. So you need exactly uh, say 0 0.5 micro 500 micrometer. 500, oh, four. where is MC? Delete. Where is delete button? CE. 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 Oh, oh, okay, okay, CE. So 500 divided by 0. 0.53. So this is 500. Okay, approximately. Oh, oh, sorry, C is giving different result. Yeah. Uh, 500 500 divided by 0.53 0.53 so it's uh, around 943 so these many periods you need to repeat okay 943 
So around this, you can take 200 or 400, you will be getting, you will be getting this uh, slope of this coffee, uh, too much steam. Okay, this slope, this slope will be too much steep, steeper slope. Okay, and this edge can yes. be detected. Okay, you can find this edge detection. Okay, and slope, yes. you can also find uh, how long is the slope. First, first thing is that you need to increase this number of grating periods uh, such that the total grating length will be half mm. And second thing, you need to increase this accuracy. Okay, yes, this simulation time you need to increase up to 5,000 or 10,000. Okay, and the mesh accuracy you need to increase up to four. Okay, three or four. Okay, then if you'll simulate, you'll be getting better uh, result. Okay, and yes. another, another way of simulation is you can write the code. Okay, you can use the code. Let me show the co how to write the code. So go to new, default. Uh, okay, don't save. Save, okay, so save, yeah. So this is new one, okay. Here in the model, go to model, edit, okay. And here you add, names okay so many names like code uh, let me i have written this code let me show you the code first so here is the oh i have I deleted that code this is ah okay this one it's in math lab no, there, uh, let, let me show you. Copy. See, here in a script, so variable and a script. In a script, the coding, scripting language is given in numerical website. Okay. So, yes. first of all, you need to write delete all. Delete all. Then add cladding, add code, all those things you need to do. Okay. Yes. Uh, let me do uh, these things by simple one by one. Okay. This. So, so first I want to add uh, code. Okay. So here I'll give name code. C O R E code. Okay. So set yes. Y zero, Z zero, radius. Cladding radius, so cl radius, let me see here, clad, R clad, R clad. So in variable region, I will write R clad is the radius of the cladding. Here I will put the length. Okay, and here I'll give the value. Value of R clad is uh, 4.5, okay, micron. So here in script, I'm using this uh, R clad. Radius will be R Clad. X mean will be zero, X max will be core length. Okay, so what is core length? Score length you can define there. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be some variables say R clad, R core. And clad. And core. Okay, so this is the index. Here you can define period. Period, and one more variable you can define, number of periods, okay? NP. Yes. So number of periods, uh, where the period go on? Okay, period. Okay? So let me give period is the length. And what is this value? Uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.53, say, okay? Number of periods, say this is 200 or 170, okay? R core, uh, R clad, R clad is how much? Say it is 25. N clad, say it is 4.5. Five, okay? But this is number, you have to give this length okay 
So our clade is length and uh, oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, the radius, okay, okay. These are the radius, okay? So this you have yes. to give 4.5. 4.5 and 25 is the core and cladding radius and this value you have to give and clad and clad is 1.04. This value you have to give 1.05 and you need to set one more add uh, here uh, and FBG grating. Okay, index of grating. So this is in between 1.445. Okay, now this uh, variable length I will use in the scripting language. So here, uh, core length is the length. So core length I will define first. Okay, so let me define core length. Core length. It's just a uh, simple programming language. It's a uh, uh, scripting language is given detail in detail in numerical website. Okay, here you can define. So this is period multiplied by number of periods. Okay, so this will be total length. Let me give some extra length. Okay, plus 10 micrometer. This extra length in within core region. Okay, then semicolon. So this core length length I'll, I'm giving here. Okay, so, see the length of X max is core and minimum is zero and set material is the, here I'll give material with N core, N core. See, I have defined N core here, N core and value is 1.45. So it will take N core value 1.45. Here length, core length, it will take how much? It will calculate period into NP plus period into number of, uh, sorry, sorry. Here, periods. I, here I have to give plus sign, plus. Okay, you can see this also. Period into NP plus 10 micrometer extra I'm giving. Okay, so I can test this. Uh, so in from to one, delete all. D-E-L-E. -E. Uh, yeah, there's a mistake here. Yeah. Ah, yeah, that's no, correct. Core length. Where's problem? Core length underscore. From number nine, set x means zero, x max core length. Uh, it's showing problem. Add circle. Um, x zero y zero. Let me x zero y zero radius are clad. Yes, z mean and z max core length. Oh, it's same problem. I have done this earlier. Actually, I deleted all those things. I'll show you this later. Okay. Uh, why yes. is saying problem? X mean, okay, okay, this is also Z. Let me do this Z. Z mean Z max. Set material and, oh, set index. Okay, okay, sorry, this I have written wrong. Set index. Okay, this is the uh, coding language. So now it is showing complete, see, here. Okay, so if I'll do okay, here this core will be generated. See this core, okay? Yes. This is the complete length of core and its material index is given. So this you cannot delete from here. Okay, this if I delete, it will not be deleted because I have written, edited this from here. Okay, edit. Again, you can copy these complete things, this complete copy and just paste here. Okay, so here add circle, you can use add, ring, add ring, okay? So set inner radius and send outer radius again. Set inner radius are clad and set outer radius. Our core. Okay, so 
cladding goes uh, said said the name cladding yeah clad okay name is clad x y center is zero inner radius is r clad and outer radius is r core okay and set its material what is material index n clad okay so you can test this it's okay now if i'll do okay so it is showing see the both can you see this uh, yes yz view okay so cladding is also added core and cladding now you can add the break grating okay so you can go to model and here in the script you can copy these things see for let me copy this add ring so because here i am not adding only one okay so i am adding how much number of periods n plus 1 np okay power i is equal to yeah. 1 to np number of periods i am adding not rect i have to add which one add uh, circle add circle okay and in add circle set x to how much x i am setting at uh, np number of period no no sorry period multiplied by i minus 1 okay this much plus say it starts with 5 5 microns 5e minus 6 plus this okay 5 micron it will start it will start at 5 micron or say 2 micron or whatever you can say 5 micron and plus period multiplied by i minus 1 so first i will be value 1 and this value will be zero so it will start at 5 micron okay and name will be bread x span uh x span will be how much one second x is zero x center will be zero y center will be zero x center zero y center will be zero z okay Z zero and Z span. Okay, Z is not zero. Z uh, sorry, Z is this one. So Z center, I am moving minus half. Okay, and Z span will be how much? half of the period okay so period divided by 2 okay so period is period divided by 2 this is the span and what is the center of that period multiplied by i minus half so it's going to have that value okay starting i minus 1 okay so this is the half of the period with the pitch of the uh, grating and i am repeating this how much time n minute and three times okay so set you can see uh, set index i can copy from here set material set index and clad okay shall so do okay so see it has repeated all the breaks you know break 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 okay and all those yes. things are there inside this see 
now it's yes. a desired value. So same thing you can do from here. If you want to change any value, just change these values here. Okay, here. If I want to change this value, yes. just I will change here and all the effect of change will be shown in this. Okay, so this way also you can do these things. You can add uh, simulation region also. You can add source. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I'll take some another uh, class if you want some more things to include. Okay. Yes. Just tell me what I need to include some more things. And uh, or I will give you these files. You do, do it by yourself. Okay. Yes. And then uh, I will take one more class. Uh, if you will be having some more queries and some even some dot. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I will share uh, these two, three files to you. All these files. Only things you need to do is that the temperature coefficient is important and your assumption, you have to assume that the uh, fiber uh, break grating region is uniformly heated by some heating source, okay? Mm -hmm. And if there is no uniform heating, so suppose the temperature is very small, in that case, uh, the distribution, temperature distribution profile, uh, you need to check. And using that propagation, the temperature distribution profile, you need to calculate an effective. And that an effective has to be given in this value. Okay, here I'm taking constant. Okay, because if I'm taking constant, uh, that uh, opto thermo optic coefficient, in that case, uh, distribution, heat distribution should be constant. Okay, uniform, like that. Okay, so do these things by yourself. Let me uh, stop this recording first. Too much.